Today we're going to go through the process of connecting two cabinets together. I'm just going to give you a few tips for how to do that. It's actually pretty straightforward. The things that we're going to need are clamps to clamp the face frames together. This outer piece right here is called the face frame of the cabinet. So you'll need your clamps to clamp those together. Uh, a drill and the screws that you'll need are need to be about two and a half inches long. We're going to countersink this slightly so that it is so that the head isn't right on the outside edge of the face frame over here. Uh, but two and a half inches is about the right length. I'll link to some screws that should work in the description. But these are just standard deck screws actually. Uh, and the you know end of the head there looks kind of nice and uh, doesn't stand out too much on this particular cabinet. Now I like to use about three anchors per face frame section. So we're going to put one right down here towards the bottom, one in the middle, and then one towards the top. We'll start by drilling the pilot hole for each one of our anchors. You can see that I have my drill bit set to about the right length where we'll have our pilot um, hole as deep as the screw will be installed. In this case, it is an eighth inch uh, bit, which is perfect for these number nine, two and a half inch screws. In order to get your face frames lined up properly, you wanna have the cabinets all shimmed in place pretty much that cabinet over there is already anchored and this cabinet is still technically loose and we're going to start by anchoring the face frame together and then we'll finish shimming and everything after this is fastened. But basically we want to make sure that this is really flush right here on top and that it's really flush this way as well. And by having several clamps you can get that face frame to be exactly where you want it to be before you install any of the fasteners. So we're going to be able to drill all of our pilot holes and then install all of our screws all at once and we won't have to like move clamps around or anything during that process. So make sure we get lined up as straight as possible. Now in order to countersink this just a little bit, I have a drill bit that's a tiny bit larger or about the same size as the head of the screw. So we're going to make this go probably about a quarter inch or three sixteenths into the face here. That's gonna allow that head to just be countersunk a tiny bit. About like that is all we need. And now when we install that screw, the head won't be out so far. So we'll do the same thing on the next two spots. And finally, we'll take our Torx screws and install them in the pilot holes. The reason that we drill pilot holes like this is that you do not want your face frame to split apart. That's about it. You don't want to over tighten them or pull the head further in than you need to. it. So that's all there is to it for connecting cabinet face frames together. If you guys found this video to be helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe underneath this video for more videos just like this one. And make sure you hit that bell to turn on notifications. If you guys want to keep learning with me, I'll put a couple videos right here on the screen. So we'll see you over there in just a few seconds. Thanks again for watching. And here's a couple bonus tips for you for uh, when you anchor your cabinets in, always start at the highest place of the floor, install that cabinet, and then work your way across the room. All right, thanks again, and we'll talk to you right over there.